Uh, good morning. Um, my name is Susanna Baker. I'm a Senior Climate and Environment Policy Advisor here at EEF. Um, and I'm really delighted to, to be here to mark the, the launch of the dashboard and that you decided to launch it here at EEF HQ. Um, I just wanted to give you a, a, say a few words for, for why this agenda matters to us at EEF. Um, being able to access resources at the right price is absolutely fundamental to the competitiveness and health of manufacturing in the UK. And in 2012, we surveyed executives in our membership to find out what they perceived to be the external factors which pose the biggest threat to growth. And in the midst of all the financial turmoil that was uh, occurring at the time, and indeed still is, there was access to materials that topped the list. 80% of our members said they perceived it to be um, a threat to growth. And for one in three, they saw it as being their top risk, which um, surprised us somewhat. Um, and this year, even though prices have started to stabilise, um, we're still seeing access to, to materials um, factoring uh, in the top five of potential threats to growth. So it's still very much um, a key issue for, for our members, and particularly the, the executives within, within our membership. Um, on the back of these concerns, um, we have been busy trying to outline the case for government to ramp up their focus in this area. And in 2012, we convened um, a group called Material Security Working Group, uh, another group, I, I know there's rather a lot in this space, but this was formed of manufacturing trade groups and, and other experts in this area. And we were really focused on how we could um, strengthen the Resource Security Action um, Plan. Um, so it had a longer term for focus and really an ambition that matched those um, or that of our um, manufacturing competitors. And I'm really thinking here, people like Japan, Germany and the States have responded really strongly to this agenda and continue to do so. Uh, we very much think that um, government still has a role here to um, mitigate um, some of the risks um, around um, material um, security, to facilitate and coordinate and to start to break down some of the market barriers that our members face um, when they are trying to respond to this agenda. Um, but our survey data was a, a wake-up call that you know this this is an agenda that that still matters to to manufacturers, um, companies that recognise it. We think um, can, and start to begin to shape their business around these risks can not only begin to carve out new opportunities, um, but as the publication of the next manufacturing revolution um, showed, um, can start to add considerable. Um, um, the strengthening of, of their margins. Um, the next manufacturing revolution showed that resource efficiency, which included circularity, um, could add 12% to um, manufacturers' profit margins. Um, so we're very much setting the case for, for moving away from thinking about labour productivity to resource productivity. But in order to do that, we really need solid and up-to-date information in what is an extremely dynamic uh, situation. So the resource dashboard should certainly go some way to help um, provide that. Um, this morning, as David mentioned, we'll be hearing from uh, government, um, from industry, and from resource experts uh, on the drivers for change and how we can start to um, identify potential supply and capitalise on what's already in circulation. Um, now, uh, unfortunately, um, our second speaker um, has to um, depart early. He won't be able to make the Q and A. Um, so, what I suggest is, um, after each speaker, we'll take one or two questions, but we'll save the rest for the Q and A. Um, but if you have um, further questions for James, we, we, we should take a few more before he has to depart. Um, so, without further ado, um, welcome to Jonathan Tilson. Thank you. Definitely.